Hey guys, um, in this video I wanted to go over some of my favorite and least favorite woods to carve, um, just so you get an idea when you're choosing a, a wood before a project. I will start this with saying this is for power carvers, if you're new to this channel, not for whittling. If you're whittling, use basswood. Alright, let's get started. So we'll start off with um, black walnut. This is actually my favorite wood to carve. You get these nice sort of patterns in the wood. It's a medium kind of hardness when you're when you're carving so it's not too difficult but it also allows you to get a really nice shiny finish um, without having to add anything onto it other than oil it's also inexpensive um, so you can go to like almost any hardware store and pick up a slab of it here's some that i was using previously next i'll go to mahogany um, this is my second favorite it doesn't quite have like the uh, differences in colors as the walnut does but you know that can be good for some projects and not so good for others. I actually got confused when I was making this. I thought it was walnut. Um, didn't realize it was mahogany, but it acts very similar. Um, it holds detail well. So you can see the eyes there. Um, you get a nice shine with it. Um, and it's, it's pretty easy to carve. Here's a raw block of it. This, the darker lines are mahogany. Um, the white ones are, are maple. The most common wood you're gonna find is pine. And I made this uh, sort of knife looking thing a while ago with two different kinds of pine. It, I really don't enjoy working with pine. I stay away from it. It has these knots and you'll find that the, uh, the growth rings are a lot harder than the wood in between. Um, so your tool kind of gets stuck and it's hard to get consistent lines. Also because it's so soft, you'll see like around these dowels that it's splitting. It's hard to get a nice shiny finish on it, as you can see. It's really cheap, it's everywhere, but I would stay away from it when you're carving. So Wenge is a, a fun one that I don't see too often, um, but I love the color that it comes out. These darker lines are a lot harder than the lighter ones. So if you're using something like a polishing wheel, you'll get this really fun texture. This one doesn't have it smooth. As you can see, like you can almost get this plasticky finish. There's no finish other than oil on this, and it's just so smooth. It is a bit brittle, which I don't like. The tail here, if you can see that, snapped off while I was, uh, while I was carving it, so I wouldn't try to get it too thin. But other than that, it's just gorgeous wood. The next thing I'll go over is maple. I, I made this mushroom in this little face previously. I really don't like maple. It's sort of colorless. If you get spalted maple or curly maple, you know, it'll be pretty then, but that's expensive. And I don't know, I'd just rather go with a, a wood with a better color. Um, it's also really hard. Like I'll, I'll get a lot of burns as I'm carving um, it takes forever to sand. You can get a really nice finish, and because it is so hard, it's it's really um, durable. So I've been using it to make spoons. Um, I used it to make a comb. But overall, for fun, I'd stay away. This bear uh, is made of poplar. Now, poplar is an interesting one because you can get these really nice colors, and it's super soft when you're carving, so it's really fast and easy. The issue is. I just couldn't get a nice finish. As you can see, it's it's pretty good, but if you feel it, it, it definitely feels like it could use some more sanding, even though I just kept sanding and sanding. It wouldn't really get as smooth as I wanted it to. If you're looking to carve something quickly and easily, and if you're gonna paint it, especially this is, this is great wood, um, it's inexpensive and it's everywhere, but for my purposes, I'm not a huge fan of it. So I don't have any examples right now of carvings with oak. This is white oak, um, this is red oak. I actually really enjoy working with this. Um, you get these cool little holes in it. So if you're looking for a super smooth finish, I would stay away from this, but there's a nice texture if you're into that. It's a little bit brittle, but it's not too hard. Um, so you can carve really quickly as long as you don't take it too thin and things start snapping off. Um, because I have had a couple carvings with white oak where it just blows up if the tool catches wrong. But I do love working with this. I'll get into some less um, common woods now. 
This is Red Heart. I picked it up at a local exotic wood store. It honestly, it carved very similarly to, I would say, walnut, um, but obviously it's, it's gorgeous. It has these nice colors. Um, the red used to be a lot deeper before it uh, oxidized. Here's part of the block that it came from. It worked really well. The only thing is it's super expensive. I think I paid like $20 for a pretty small block of it. Um, so if you have something in mind that you want this really nice finish with and these nice colors, I would definitely try it out. All right, blue gum, AKA eucalyptus. This wood is super pretty when you finish sanding it. Look at this, it almost looks like plastic. And if you feel it, it's incredibly smooth. It's a super hard wood, so it takes a while to get to this to this level of, of sanding, um, but I think it's totally worth it. It has these gorgeous lines throughout it. Um, nice red color. This one's oxidized a bit, so it's a bit darker now. Um, here is a branch that I used to make this. It holds detail really well because it's so hard, but it takes just forever to carve. Um, you'll get a lot of burning as you're carving. I think you can see a little bit here on the cheekbone. Overall, if you're new to carving, I'd probably stay away with it. Um, from this, it gets pretty frustrating because it's so slow to carve, but you know, the finished product can come out really nicely. Purple Heart. Yes, this is Purple Heart. It looks brown. Uh, that's just because it's oxidized a lot. Once you sand and finish it, it'll look similar to that. Um, nice deep color. It's pretty consistent. Just like the blue gum though, it's very hard. Um, you'll get a lot of burning when you're working with it if your tools aren't sharp. It takes forever to carve. Um, it takes forever to finish. But you can get a really nice, smooth finish on it. It's just, it's frustrating. So I wouldn't recommend doing any large projects with it. Also, you might be a little sad when eventually this nice purple color fades into something like this. It's also super expensive. Honorable mention, plywood. Um, you think, you know, this looks fun because it has so many lines in it. And it's really easy to carve, actually, surprisingly. Um, but, you know, it's just impossible to finish. Um, the wood is really light. You can't get a nice sort of plasticky feel to it um, unless you could it with something. But, you know, it's a fun little thing to try. All right, guys, I hope that was informative. Um, since some of you guys were asking what woods I use for which projects. If you're curious what tools I use um, to carve these, I'd recommend checking out my channel. I'm coming out with a video soon um, that goes through sort of my top 10 uh, that I think you need to make things like this. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.